In this video, I'm going to be using a bowl, some water, some washing up liquid, and a straw. And I'm going to have a go at doing some soap bubble photography. I hope you'll enjoy it. If you do, and you're not already a subscriber, please consider hitting subscribe. And if you're already a subscriber, thank you very much, I appreciate that. So the idea behind this uh, soap bubble photography is to get really close up and photograph uh, the shape of the bubble with light on and you get you know, patterns of colour and light swirling around on them. And, and one of the things that I've seen which I really do like, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to do, is you kind of get like one big bubble, maybe with a few little ones in the foreground, it kind of looks like a, you know, like an alien planet or something. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that. Um, because I've looked at lots and lots of tutorials online to see how to do this. And they almost always seem to be using a dedicated macro lens and they almost always seem to be using a big uh, uh, like a big light pointing straight down onto where the soap bubbles are going to be uh, with a you know a diffuser in so you get a lot of light but very diffuse now i don't have a dedicated macro lens and i don't have one of those big lights with a diffuser so i'm going to see what i can do with what i have got improvisation so I'm going I don't have a dedicated macro lens so I'm going to use my 50 mil lens with macro extension tubes um, at the moment I've got the 12 millimeter extension tube on and we'll see how that pans out and if I need to swap that around I also don't have that big light so I'm going to use a flash gun this is a Mike Speedlight MK910 that I bought years ago. It's a sort of cheap knockoff of a Nikon. Um, as I said, I've never used it. Um, uh, the challenge I've got with this is I don't actually know how to do the settings on it. I've lost the manual and I can't find anywhere to download the manual online. So it's a bit of a wing and a prayer on what I'm doing with this. But because I don't want to have the the harsh light of the flash gun, what I'm going to do is I'm going to angle the flash gun up and I'm going to use a reflector which I'm going to kind of put over the top of my scene and hopefully that might let me get some images. I don't know, we'll have to see. We'll get set up and uh, see what we can come up with. Okay, I've got my setup here, and I'm just kind of roughly focusing on making sure that I can get kind of the middle to the far edge, kind of the middle of the uh, thing in focus. I've got my fleece hanging off of another tripod over there, just giving me a darker background to shoot against. So I've focused, I've got my flash gun on, I've got my reflector ready to go, time for some bubbles. Hmm, ok, 
Okay. Not really what I had in mind. It's not quite the sort of single nice bubble that I was aiming for, but it's quite interesting. Quickly adjust the composition. What I'm finding is um, I'm having to underexpose by a long way, otherwise I'm blowing out the highlights on the soap bubbles. It's also really difficult to get decent focus. So you do have to kind of look for when the colours are appearing in there and it's difficult to see those colours until the flash gun fires. It's also really difficult to see to focus. And I'm still not managing to get like one big bubble. I'm getting lots and lots of smaller ones. Still not getting like you know uh, any separation. It's just lots and lots of smaller bubbles. I can't seem to get a bigger one. So I'm just going to try a little bit more washing up liquid in there. No, still not getting a. Uh, one. Okay, I've changed over to the 36 mil. Play some bubbles. This is certainly proving to be more difficult than I thought it was going to be. Um, I'm getting some interesting kind of abstract kind of shapes and I've got a couple with some fairly biggish bubbles in. So far I've been unable to blow, you know, like one single large bubble that's going to create that sort of alien planet type effect. I'm going to carry on for a little bit longer and uh, what I'm going to do is let the bubbles go down a little bit, carry on a bit longer, take a few more shots. I and mean, maybe I'll try something a little bit different. Okay, I'm really struggling to get the effect I was looking for which was that one big bubble, maybe with some smaller ones, kind of that uh, you know alien planet with the swirling colours and that in. It's just not happening. I don't know if I've got the wrong mixture or whatever, but I just can't get like a single big bubble to blow. I'm getting lots and lots of smaller ones. Um, I've got a couple of shots that have got some quite nice sort of bubble patterns in with some really nice colours in that are picking up from the flash. It's a job to tell looking on here whether I've actually got them sharp enough. Um, I've decided I'm going to actually go in even closer and what I'm going to do is I'm going over to a much smaller container because by getting in closer I'm going to have a much narrower depth of field and maybe I might get you know like a single bubble from this so uh, this is a shot glass. Okay let's give this a go.
been at this now for absolutely ages and I think I'm going to give up now. Um, honestly, I certainly haven't achieved what I set out to do, which was that, you know, kind of science fiction-y alien planet type thing that I mentioned earlier. But there's a couple of shots that I've looked at on the back of the camera that look as if they might be quite interesting. More as kind of much more detailed abstracts. I don't know. Uh, let's get them on the computer and we'll have a quick look. I took a lot of images, 142 shots. <laughs> I can't remember the last time I took so many images. Um, definitely challenging to do, and I think part of that is maybe I hadn't got quite the right mix. Maybe you need something else in the, the water soap mix to make it work, I don't know. Um, and part of it may have been you know, the technical solution, maybe using a, uh, a flash and a uh, reflector isn't a good enough solution for uh, this type of photography. But uh, nevertheless, I've actually been through and there's four images in there that I think are worth having a quick look at. I've processed them and pretty much in all of them what I've done is dehaze, clarity, vibrance, sharpening and uh, contrast. And uh, let's have a look at them on the computer. Actually, I'll show them to you here. So this is the first one. And it's got some really nice colours, really nice sort of patterns and shapes in here. But the composition itself, I, I think, is just missing something. If there'd been a bubble here, which I think there probably was before I took the shot, and I think it probably burst before I managed to get the shot taken, um, then it might have worked. But as it is, it just feels kind of off balance. Okay, this is another one. and. I think in some ways this one works better. It's, it's certainly got more symmetry to it. Um, again, some nice colours coming through there. We've got nice colours in the foreground and some nice colours in the background. I think probably the only issue with this is I didn't get the focus right. So that background is, is very, very soft and blurry. So uh, doesn't work too well from that point of view. Although the foreground is uh, it's pretty nice and it's uh, obviously quite sharp. Uh, and that was the problem I was having using the bigger bowl. Uh, the bubbles were spread out over such a big distance that I was really struggling to get um, uh, the focus all the way through the scene. And it was difficult to see where I was focusing because the scene was actually quite dark until the flash went off. Also on this one there is a, a line here which is where the, uh, uh, the bowl is. This one. I like this one. I've cropped this one down. But this is real abstract, but those colours and patterns in there are gorgeous. And we've got a little bit of light here and a, a little bit of colour here and a line uh, of the intersection of part of the bubble going here and here that kind of leads into it. Uh, it's kind of got a, an alien artefact feel to it. I, I like this one. Uh, and this one is nicely sharp. I like that. And then this one, and again, I like this one. Um, I've put in a heavy vignette on this one to darken the edges because it's kind of got a, a swirl uh, that kind of leads into a, a, a depression in the middle. There's beautiful colors in there. There's a few hot spots in there, which is where the, uh, the flash was maybe overpowering the scene a little bit, but it still has a kind of otherworldly, you know, sort of, uh, I don't know, quantum universe feel to it, I don't know. So uh, I think this one works. So in summary, this one, uh, I don't know, I may have a play around with the crop on it, see if I can make it look better. Um, this one, I think if I'd got the background in focus, but then the foreground would have been out of focus. So either way, I don't think it was going to work. It's kind of okay, but I'm not completely struck with it. This one I do like, and this one I do like. So uh, let's have a look at those again.
so kind of failed, but kind of succeeded in salvaging something from it, which uh, was probably the best I could hope for. I think uh, with different equipment, uh, you know, a different light source maybe, and maybe a bit more practice on the solution, maybe I could do better, but I quite like a couple of images that I've got there. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, don't forget about hitting that thumbs up, give it a like, share it on social media, hit subscribe if you're not already a subscriber, and uh, of course leave me a comment, let me know what you think. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch, so until the next video, thank you very much, stay healthy, stay safe, and bye. Five weeks of lockdown, and I'm coping really, really well. <laughs> Wibble.